Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media. And in this quick video, I am going to share with you the most amazing video editing app that I have found for the year 2020. This app is rated really high and it's really simple to use. And I know it's simple to use because one of my girlfriends that has never done this before just stitched four videos together using InShot. So InShot, let's open the app. Once you open the app, it gives you three different choices. Do you want to work on a video, a photo, or a collage? And for the purpose of this video, we're strictly going to work on creating a video by stitching together several different videos that we've already shot. So let's go ahead and click Create New and click on Video. And now we're going to click on New because this will be a new video. Now what you do here is you choose as many of the videos that you have on your phone, the ones you wanna to stitch together. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, and I'm gonna click the green check mark in the lower right hand corner. And it loads and there we have all our videos. There's one, there's two, and there's our third video. And they're already all stitched together. But let's say you want to trim these videos a little bit. If you just go ahead and click on the scissors, you will be able to trim the front or the back of the videos out to the length that you're happy with. And then you can move on to the next one and so on and so forth using the scissors that will trim your video. But the other really cool thing that you can do with these videos is what we're doing is this is a landscape video. So this was shot horizontally with my iPhone. I actually wanna use this video on Instagram and I cannot load a video that is landscape for my IGTV. I need to make sure that it fits the canvas. So I want to go ahead and click over here on the left where it says canvas and I choose the ratio that I want uh, for my video. And as you can see, it has so many choices for you. So whether you're using Instagram, Facebook or whatever you're using, you will find the right ratio right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on 4.5 and then I'm going to click the check mark. But before I click the check mark, notice it says background. If I click on background, I can now choose a color that I want is as my background. So let's just say we choose this one and we can pinch to make the video smaller or we can pinch to make the video bigger. And I'm just using my fingers to pinch where I want things. And I actually want it to stay nice and centered like it is. Then all we have to do is click the check mark. And now we can see that this is going to be on our video. We can click the play so we can see how long it stays on our video. And you can see it's sticking right through. And now we're about to switch on to the second video that's clipped together. Watch this, boom. So it does not follow through on the next video. So what I want to do is I want to go here. I want to go back to canvas. I want to click background and I want to also add this and I might choose a different color. I might choose blue actually because blue in the water. So there we go and we check check mark and now we're going to move on and there's our video and here's our very first frame for our video and if we click on once again canvas and we can go to background we can choose the appropriate color that we want for this and then check mark and you can see that this is going to go as a background through all three of my videos now here's the next really cool thing you can click on stickers so there's a smiley face you can click on stickers and these are emojis that are live Live. So you can, oops, you can actually find one that you really like. I like the one that said, wow. Um, you can also, um, I like the like it. So click like, there it is. Oops, I got two of them. 
throw that in the guard, click the X to, to get rid of it, X, and there we go. But I'm gonna put the like more, not right against the side because then it kind of disappeared on my other video. So there we go. And now I might want to click the check mark to say that's all I wanna do, or I might click follow. So you could follow me on Instagram. And these are kind of live and they well move. Um, if I didn't like the background color because it didn't really go with my follow emoji, I could go back and I could change uh, the background color by going back here, going background, and I could change out the color so it kind of matched more um, what I was doing. So I just love this. Now watch this. I can click on the word T for text and I can write out cute little puppy, right? Cute puppy. And I just click done. And then I can move this around. I can make it bigger by stretching it. It's so much fun. Um, now this is just a fun video with my dog, but you can think of your products and your services. You're gonna click done. Now a couple of things. If you have the InShot logo um, on your picture, for a couple of dollars you can actually upgrade and they will remove it. As well as if you go into the filters, um, you can choose uh, packages for the filters and and they're also a paid uh, two dollars and then you will um, if you want to adjust the filters to see how how different things look you know I, I actually am not going to use any filters because I liked uh, the way it was in the beginning so this is in shot I am so pleased I'm just gonna put play and you can watch my video and my little puppy, Fairlawn. Hi, puppy. Uh, one of the things I want to say to you is, let's go back to the very beginning here where it says puppy. If I click on this text where it says puppy, I actually have to um, drag it, click on it. You see it's got the little arrows, and I have to drag it right across as far as I want it to say puppy, right? And same with my little follow me, right? Otherwise, it only plays for the amount of time that it was stretched out for. So if I pull this back and play it again, you can see now the puppy and follow is staying in place. And then it switches to the next video. So here we have InShot stitching my videos together just by me adding them from my smartphone. I love this photo and video editing app. It is a lot of fun and it's so easy. Let me know how it goes for you. My name's Heather. Remember everyone to keep it simple and hit the subscribe button so you can get all my new videos and don't forget to ding the bell. We're gonna click the little arrow in the top right hand corner and then save. And now the video is going to download to my photos and it will be saved on my phone. And here it goes and see how fast that was? That's perfect, it's saved. And now if I go out of here and I just go right into my pictures, you can see there it is. It's saved and ready for me to use. This is Heather, let's remember everyone, keep it simple.